see those poor wretches who fled from the hell you looking for? Geralt! You recognized me! How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but. Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt. When did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her, sure of it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh... I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in a ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Or will you stay like the Nowadays, man, so one word's enough it. to send you to the safe area.
seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against a whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? This ambush is simpler, because Menge was already planning to move Dandelion to Oxenfurt. Dudu just needs to confirm an order everyone knew Menge was planning to give. If he released Dandelion, he'd need to explain why, probably raise suspicions in the process. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Would have watched the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Even go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. This is no place for her. Something happens, I don't want to have to explain to Dandelion why she was here to begin with. Need I remind you that you're here to rescue Dandelion, not me? Seems I can take care of myself. Fine. But remember... I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure. Let's play.
This was a stupid idea. You're the one wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Geralt, go after him. Leave these here to us. Move it. What? Shit, I'm Broke through hole. here. Shit, lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Faster. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Go, go. Anyone ride through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind dashed by. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Oh! Hey, ya! Looks like it might have started limping. What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye. Jabbering the whole time. Hmm. Dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here. The key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. So what's there? How long do you think you can keep in this hut? Quiet. Don't worry about me. I'll be quiet. And how can ah! I be sure that you won't try on this? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a flat end, you realize. Yes. But I also realize you won't. My course is worth nothing to you. Whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, 
Don't let Or I'm not Julian Alfred Tank Rat Viscount Dolettin Home. Viscount? Come on. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed title. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every group. You can get a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! Quiet. What? No, 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 you see. Me and Jack, we don't. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lash to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see his hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
They're ready for the square. After them. Guards! Guards! Dandelion! Ah, oh, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Is that all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv don eptenaid, undro isne iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Eh, 
We are um, grateful. We wanted to demonstrate that. So we got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? 
Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. Don't show your hides round here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shit without the shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Let's play Burn the Witch. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh yes, I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well, thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long.
finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. So On guard! I mean, Crimson Avenger! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought. Uh, uh. <laughs> The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Days. Not all of them. Just hot down for the smoke. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. 
Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret is a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for a long time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Damn it. Looks like rain. Now where would she lie me down with a barrel of beer? Not here. And over me coffin. Ah, the key. this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. Well, 
there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. I suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. And Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Come on, come closer. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Snails come out after the rain. We'll catch some. Have a race. <laughs> <laughs> 